Hello and welcome to Piping Up, presented by the Tabernacle Choir at Temple Square. I'm your host, Luke Howard. These organ concerts are streamed live every Wednesday at noon Mountain Time. Previous episodes of Piping Up are also available for on-demand viewing on the Tabernacle Choir's Facebook page and YouTube channel. And you can find out more information about this concert series, including a link for listener requests, at tabchoir.org slash piping up. Today we hear Andrew Unsworth perform at the Tabernacle Organ. His program opens with a hymn whose history is quite unique. The story begins with an Irish melody that was brought to the United States where it was adapted into an African-American spiritual, The Angels Changed My Name. Later, the mixed-race English composer Samuel Coleridge Taylor came across this tune on one of his tours of North America and arranged it for piano, publishing it in 1905. Coleridge Taylor's father was a Creole from Sierra Leone, a descendant of freedmen who had been released from slavery in America at the end of the Revolutionary War and had returned to live in Africa. Coleridge Taylor's musical training in London was thoroughly classical, European style, but he began developing an interest in his father's ancestry, prompting this growing fascination with the music of enslaved African Americans. He started to incorporate spirituals into his own compositions and advocate powerfully for the culture of historically oppressed peoples. A few years later, in 1908, the English novelist and poet William Arthur Dunkley published a hymn text, In Christ There Is No East or West. His words celebrate the global fellowship of all believers, transcending nationality, race, and culture. The third verse in Dunkley's hymn proclaims boldly, Join hands then, brothers of the faith, whate'er your race may be. Who serves my father as a son is surely kin to me. In recent hymnals, that verse is updated to be even more inclusive. In 1939, the great black singer and arranger Harry T. Burley adapted the melody of that same old spiritual that had inspired Coleridge Taylor and fitted it to Dunkley's text. In that form, the hymn In Christ There Is No East or West was published in the hymnal of the American Episcopal Church in 1940. How fitting to bring together this text, which decries racism and draws all believers into a fellowship of love, with a tune that began in Ireland and was adapted into an African-American spiritual. How remarkable that this tune was popularized by an English-born composer of African descent whose ancestors had been enslaved in the United States. And how proper that it was Harry Burley, also descended from enslaved ancestors, who brought this text and music together, further confirming the international and intercultural history of this hymn. This is a mighty demonstration of St. Paul's directive to the Ephesians to collaborate and cooperate in faith, in spite of political borders and cultural differences. Now, therefore, ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God. Andrew begins his recital now with Gilbert Martin's buoyant arrangement of In Christ There Is No East or West.
the 18th century London-based musician Thomas Dupuy was considered one of the best organists of his day. His specialty as a composer was organ voluntaries, and we'll hear one of them now, Dupuy's popular trumpet voluntary. After that, Andrew will play Master Tallis's Testament from the Six Pieces for Organ by Herbert Howells. The music of the Tudor period composer Thomas Tallis exerted an unusually strong influence on Howells, who considered his Master Tallis's Testament as a kind of footnote to Rayforn Williams's marvelous Fantasia on a theme of Thomas Tallis. Howells considered Master Tallis's Testament as one of his own most significant works. Thank you. 
two old hymn tunes now, the traditional organist's arrangement of Come, Come Ye Saints that forms a renowned and beloved part of these concerts from Temple Square, followed by Prospect of Heaven, an American folk hymn almost exactly contemporaneous with Come, Come Ye Saints. Both of these hymn tunes have close connections with the early pioneering years of the Latter-day Saint movement, and both of them are arranged here by today's organist, Andrew Unsworth.
Louis Vierne published his second organ symphony in 1903, a few years after his appointment as titular organist at Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. He had written his first organ symphony while working as an assistant to Vidor at Saint-Sulpice, so this second symphony was the first written expressly for the famed organ at Notre Dame, which, it should be noted, was frequently in need of maintenance and repair during Vierne's tenure. He seems to have been able to work around those instrumental shortcomings, as we'll hear in the dramatic and stormy opening Allegro from the Organ Symphony No. 2 by Louis Vierne.
Thank you for watching today's episode of Piping Up with Andrew Unsworth at the Tabernacle Organ in Salt Lake City. We hope you enjoyed it. You are always welcome to come back for the weekly live stream of these concerts and previous episodes are also available for on-demand viewing. Piping Up, Organ Concerts at Temple Square streams every Wednesday at noon Mountain Time on the Tabernacle Choir's website, its Facebook page and YouTube channel and at broadcasts.churchofjesuschrist.org.